Hello, welcome to Sam Livecast. It's Taco Week. This is catfish. Max has already said, do not ask me to eat that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> what a baby you are. Wow. I am my mother's son. What uh, what's your problem with it? I hate that it's like that it's like a whole fish? No, they say catfish are bottom feeders. Who cares? So shark. Do you eat shark? Shark is not a bottom feeder. Yeah, it is. <laughs> No, I do not think it falls under that classification. All right, what, what about pigs that eat everything? Let's let's stop. This is yeah, exactly. I, I'm just trying to find out where the line is. Apparently, there's no line at pig, is there? No, there's no line at pig. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, I did uh, I did a catfish sandwich on the full show a few years ago. <laughs> I think I was the only one in the crew that ate it. Oh, there you go. I don't get it. Do you have a problem with catfish? I don't have a problem with just eating food. Right. Yeah, well, that's exactly it. We don't eat anything. Yeah, because I was raised with the mentality is if you don't eat that, you're going to go hungry. <laughs> Thank you. That's what it should be. I, I do not want to go hungry. It, it makes me crazy to think that there's, there's families out there. And I know, I know for a fact that there's, there's uh, families out there that make two and three different things at dinner to placate everybody. There's the little kids that only eat pasta. That's why you I'm know. not having kids, man. Jeez. So my there's daughter. one meal. Then the woman wants to have. Lynn's daughter would. Oh no! I was gonna say my dog will eat everything. That's why I have a dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, don't. If that's you, change that up. Stop. Stop making multiple things for multiple people in the family. Make one thing. If they won't eat it, then fine. Then that's dinner. Trust me. Two or three days of not eating dinner, they'll eat whatever the hell you put in front of them, including catfish. Oh, <laughs> Max sad. runs away. Come on, man. There, there's just like 180 families that just tuned out. Like, you just don't understand. <laughs> we can't do that. People have catfish issues all over the place. All right, so I'm going to get everything ready because this will go quickly once it starts. So okay. let me cut, uh, let me get my, my burner, my flat top ready for the for tortillas. Our tortillas yes. Right, so now we need some pieces of the catfish. It's not a smelly fish, I'll say that. No, there's nothing, nothing. The fish shouldn't be smelly at all. It should never be smelly, but sometimes we all know it does. But this, are there not rub. some types of fish that are just smelly? That, like this? No, but really, nothing. is there not like a good fish that is smelly when it's in its raw form? No? no? I don't know. Interesting. No, not that I know of. Very interesting. No, I have no problem with a big fish fillet. Like, if that was uh, halibut, I could care less. It's, it's, it's just like halibut. Is it? I don't even want. I don't even get into it with you. It's not just like halibut. Because you're mental. It's not halibut. Because <laughs> you're mental. Well, I'll just make enough for two tacos. One for me and one for Lynn. Good. I'll need to share with Good. You. Clearly, you're not getting it. <laughs> All right. Oh no, you better make a bunch of extra catfish for mom. You know, she'll the ones. All right, well, you're mental and she's mental. If she was so. here, if she was here, she'd be going. Big deal. Move away. Um, all right. I'm going to be honest. As I was thinking about this uh, Creole catfish taco that we're making, the thing that got me almost more excited than the catfish and the Creoleness of it was putting head lettuce in. Iceberg lettuce. Why? I, I just, it's just the crunch, the coolness of it. I'm really, I, I'm, I was, when I was thinking about tacos, I knew whatever I made, this is what I wanted. I wanted this. Look at it. It's just gorgeous. Gotta get rid of a couple of these outside leaves. I never liked the outside leaves. But this, I love. Okay. I see lettuce, I see avo, I see catfish. Thank you. Nice Thank little you. taco so far. Nice little taco so far. It's going to be very simple. Very simple. Avo. That's how you do an avo in case you were wondering. In case you were wondering. Beautiful. Right? Yeah, that's a good looking avo. It's a nice looking avo. Avo. We'll just get some slices ready here.
for Lynn and my tacos. Mm -hmm. Go away now. Uh, sour cream. I'm always putting sour cream in a taco. Always. I just like, I like the, again up there, I like the way that it adds cool creaminess to the whole thing. So we've got sour cream here ready. We're all set. We're all set. Oh, I'm a, I'm a big fan of sour cream in Mexican seasoning. food. Yes. This guy. And I think Creole I'm picking up burritos on the way home. Creole seasoning. Nice. This is great. Pretty uh, standard, I'm sure, down in Louisiana. This guy's? Yeah. I think so. I use this. Oh, no, um, not that particular brand. Oh, just but that. Just it, just yeah. seasoning itself. Creole yeah. seasoning, yeah. I use this in the... Uh, Can I smell? The... Uh, <coughs> Mm. Well, <coughs> did it get it? <laughs> totally got me. All right, so let's do this. Let's put a tortilla on. Because this is not going to take very long at all. Perch. I feel like I could say something. Hey, Perch. Hey, Perch. 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 New Jersey soon. New Jersey, March 20, 26, March 28th. We'll be cooking all day long, Saturday. Well, not all day long. We'll be doing like a breakfast thing about 11, a lunch thing about two, and then a dinner thing about four or five o'clock. You can go online, perch.com, check the schedule. We'll be making some really good sandwiches. Is At it lunch true? Time. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, go ahead. Uh, anyway, perch.com online. They're there, everything, kitchen, bath, outdoor. They're amazing. I was going to say, They're is amazing. it true that you can really go in there with like all the ingredients for a pie and make it in the kitchen to test out your stuff? You could go in there and say, could, could I, yeah, yeah. I mean, they don't want, I don't really think they want just like people off the street coming in and using it to cook. Of course. Like homeless people is probably not a good thing. So I guess if you're homeless, maybe you're not watching this right now, but just don't get it in your head that that would be an okay thing to do. But if you went in there to their uh, corporate chefs and said, I've been wondering about making a pie. Could you help me with that? They'd go, of course. That's awesome. And they would do it with you. Okay, look. So a little bit of oil. Catfish at the ready. So this is hot. This is getting there. Maybe it's because I hate oil. cats. I don't think that's where this is coming from. You sure? I think you have bigger issues than that. Catfish goes in. I'm pretty sure it's the cat thing. And the catfish, as you can imagine, is not going to take very long. And if it does, you're not using enough heat, or you're doing something really wrong. All right, where'd my stuff go? Oh, here it is. It's pretty clear. Tortilla, now flip that side. I like the pieces of what I'm cooking to be a decent size. If you put them in too small, like these have a chance of busting up anyways, but if you put them in too small, you're gonna end up with little bits. And I don't want a little catfish bit, a bit of catfish taco. All right, see how this is working? I see recipes sometimes that call for oiling a tortilla and then putting it like in a flat top or a nonstick pan or something. Forget that. There's no so reason. so unnecessary. There's no reason. This is coming out perfect. Okay. That gets like one more minute. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm really excited about that lettuce. Like you have no idea. Okay. So now we'll get this happening, right? Sorry, Lynn's going to want to try and see this. I'll do this up here for you. Sour cream, right? And try and go end to end. So when you fold it, if you get a bite and there's no, like look, if you folded it this way and you took your bite here, you wouldn't get sour cream. Make sure there's coverage and then know the way you put it, that's the way you're gonna fold it, all right? The coolness of this. OMG. Do you know how good this is going to be? Do you have any idea? No, you don't. You do. You'll know. I'll know. This kid won't. 
Oh, look, you could put some salsa in this thing if you wanted, but I, right now, I'm going with this. I just want a fresh, green, beautiful. I don't think I want anything else in here, but I do know that I want this thing all packed up tight like that. Because this bite oh, is going to be right there. You want to take a bite? Can I get you a bite? One bite. Show people that you got balls really get here, your, right here. Get your it's ass not out like of I'm here. asking you to eat an eyeball or get anything. Get your ass out of here. Bring me the dogfish next time. All right. Let me confirm that it does not need salsa. Let me confirm it gets enough moisture from the sour cream and plenty of flavor from the seasoning on the catfish. All right. How long was it in the pan? Two minutes? Yeah. Two minutes. Take a tip from that. Don't overcook your fish. You can eat it raw. And okay, so maybe catfish isn't a fish that you'd want to eat raw. But don't cook it till it dries out. It's nice and moist and... I mean, look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Look at it. It's just gone opaque on the inside. You can still see the moisture and stuff in there as I pull it apart with my fingers. Well, that's it. We did it again. We're getting faster, we're getting shorter. I think we're getting better. We're certainly getting tastier. You gotta make this. Taco week, come back Wednesday, something new. Have a good uh, couple of days. Namaste. <laughs> Kidding, well, sort of. See you Wednesday. <laughs>